launch Dragon Age here, hopefully with no complications. EA. Okay, good. EA is launching this time. Thank you. I'm so sneezy. Um, all right. Let me change the first playthrough. Day. Is today day three? Day three of Dragon Age? It's the third day, right? Yeah. Inquisition. Words. We're going to change the category to Dragon Age. Ah, the correct one. Inquisition. Cool. Done. All right. No complications at all launching this game today. Beautiful. Welcome, everybody, to Dragon Age Inquisition. We've returned. On last episode, we have an ad starting, so I'm probably going to wait for the ad to go through. Figures. Uh, last time, we met with one of the Chantry clerics, like head clerics, Gis Giselle. And she told us, you need to inspire the other clerics. Remind them they are in a time of need. And get them to join you. I'm sure they'll do it. And I'm just like, <laughs> Okay. We're currently running around with Cassandra, Varric, and Solis in the hinterland still. We are on the search for the Templar hideout. The Templars are hiding out somewhere. I thought it was Fort Connor. It was not. Um, so we got to keep searching for the Templars. We found the mage hideout. And we're kind of just doing world exploration. But that is the summary. Bum ba dum ba dum bum ba bum ba dum ba dum bum 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 ba dum ba dum bum bum. Um, we're helping out a lot of refugees. The refugees are like getting the full force of the Templar Mage War. If the mages aren't stealing from the refugees, then the Templars are just killing the refugees thinking that they're mages. So that's going great. <laughs> We've learned the refugees are in a really rough position in the middle of this war. Red Cliff, for some reason, is on lockdown. I'm still curious what happened to Connor and what Arl Eamon is doing up there. So... Yeah, Redcliffe is kind of a hot spot for chaos. Our ad's about to end in a minute, so let me load into the game here real quick. I also think chat covered the health bars yesterday and I didn't do anything about it. Move you all right there. Oh, you're still too high. Hold on. Let me scooch you all out of the way. There you go. Perfect. All right. And we should be good to go. Welcome back to the game. Um, I've got a quest here. This is the Broken Bridge. That's Fort Connor. I did defeat the Despair Demon. That's the last thing we did yesterday. It was fine after I just didn't act throw myself off the cliff. So, everything went smoothly after that. Still need Obsidian. Yeah. Mm, a letter. A letter in an empty house. Endrin. They're telling everyone to leave until the mages and the Templars stop burning everything down. I saw the way the merchants were looking, though. 
If we just flee, they'll pick our house clean. I'm taking our little project to the cave in the hills up north. You know the one. It'll be safe there until this all blows over. Hessel. Their little project. What were you all cooking up in here? All right, we are looking for the Templar hideout. Thank you for the lurk, Beanie. Enjoy your power nap. Enjoy. I can't jump over that fence. It's too tall. Why does it sound like there's a rift around here? Oh, it's over there. Not what I meant to do, my bad. Oh, isn't that elven artifact supposed to, like, repel demons? Oh, there's not a rift. It's a crystal skull. Just kidding. Okay. Horse? There's a horse! There's two horses! Weren't we supposed to find someone who was good at, like, Riding horses or something? Taming horses? Oh my god, this camera is a little disorienting. There's one there, and... Oh my gosh, one all the way over there. Oh, there's five? Five shards? Where is the... Where's the last shard? I feel like they're not that hard to find, but apparently I'm struggling. What the heck? Is it in the sky? <laughs> Where is it? Is it like way up in the mountains? Oh, there it is. Found it. All right, that took a little bit. Oh yeah, we do have level ups, huh? Gotta level up. Let's see, what do I want to spend it on? What do we have? Your strikes cut deeper into the foe whose current health is lower than your own. Uh, you regain stamina with every kill. The better to continue your assault. Hmm. I'm not going to parry. Absolutely not. Not in this game. I could do caltrops. Or po oh, poison weapons would be good. Yeah, poison. Let's do poison. Varric. Uh, shrapnel from explosive shots fill the air and set off deadly reactions that do more damage to enemies nearby or explosive shot now knocks back your main target several meters upon detonation. Mm. The worst mistake your enemies can make is to let you see them flinch whenever you score a critical hit you regain stamina. Really have much control over your crit stat, but we'll let it be. Um, you do more damage with payback strike, and if you've recently taken damage, it also stuns the taunted. Payback strike now taunts enemies. Hmm. You have a kind of a taunt ability as it is. Okay, and Solus. What am I giving you? Your barriers draw on the magic of the Fade to absorb more energy before depleting. That sounds good. More support. Alright. There is... How do I know if I've completed the Ast Astrarium? I assume I just don't know. I just have to remember. Um... Okay. 
Let's go. Why well, we still need to find the Templar place? We're going that way. All right, Templars, where are you hiding? Locate the Templar camp along the western road. Okay. Down, down, down by the river. Hi, Chaotic, how's it going? Oh, Templar encampment. Oh, like up somewhere? How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. I don't know if there's any way out of this. We should search the area. Ooh, soup. What kind of soup? I was going to... I saw a recipe last night for... Well, Oh. For like a... Uh, Oh, my inventory is full again. I don't want to go vendor for um, this, like, chicken noodle soup, but I was going to swap out the chicken broth with, like, mushroom bouillon and obviously just not do the chicken and just make it, like, a creamy veggie soup. Ugh. So excited. So excited. Do I have a bunch of trash I can get rid of? Oh, yes, I do. Can I just, like, destroy? I'm going to need inventory space if I'm going to raid this Templar place. <gasps> I love Pozole, though. I used to get that all the time when we, uh, when we would go to uh, this re Mexican restaurant nearby, did you did you do you have the little tiny noodles? Or am I thinking of right? That's pozole, yeah. It's got the little itty bitty noodles. Isn't that uh, that one? Oh, maybe it's not. It looks more like a lentil soup. Maybe I got the soup confused. Wait, which soup am I thinking of then? Do you know what I'm talking about? Shoot. I'm going to look it up. It's a Google search. There's an autofill for it. Oh, I was thinking of Fideo. Oops, my bad. Wrong soup. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking of Fideo, not... Not Pozole. My bad. The That one looked good, though, from my Google search. I don't know if I've ever had that one, but I was thinking of Fideo. Never mind. Hi, Dash. Thank you for my blanket. You love Fideo, though. So good. It is good. I haven't had it in so long, though. I should just make it at home. It's so easy.
Yeah, chaotic made soup. We're going in. Sneaky rogue. Oh, I have to put the poison on my weapons. Okay. Oops. You wanted to make it actually, but I think the pasta <laughs> ran away from me. My favorite soup right now is autumn squash from Panera. I'm trying to find a good recipe, but I, so I don't have to keep buying it from the store. Squash soup is also good. I've had some places where they make like the squash soup which I think it just depends on like because I like a butternut squash soup but like pumpkin soup is super hit or miss because sometimes it ends up too sweet and I don't like it but like a butternut squash soup yum You don't like pumpkin soup because too many people use pumpkin spice? Oh, maybe that's what it is then. I don't know. Something about pumpkin soup always ends up too sweet for me. I bet if someone made it at home, it'd be pretty damn good though. Get off the ground! Sword, the sweet Swedish fingers. <laughs> okay. It's technically a DPS loss. What does it look like? Oh, it looks cool. Oh, it's got the hand. It's got the the the. It's a it's a sword that's thing really long fingies. Oh, I'm covering it. Hold on. Look at the fingy sword. How nasty was yours if you had to make a PSA? I clean my keyboard regularly. Thank you very much. I actually think cleaning my keyboard is very like relaxing and therapeutic, but I know a lot of other people who don't ever clean their keyboards. <laughs> So I remind everyone every like like twice a year to clean your gosh dang keyboards because it's gross. <laughs> it's not my first tweet about cleaning your keyboard. I love cleaning my keyboard. It's one of my favorite things to do. I think it's a very relaxing. Oh my gosh, Lara. <laughs> my inventory. I guess these aren't very good items. Should have dumped my inventory before I got here. Dang it. Um. You agree it's gross? I still don't do it. <laughs> That's fair. What what they don't know won't hurt them. Like what's underneath my keys? I have an entire chocolate chip cookie underneath my keyboard. And no one can take that from me. <laughs> there are so many schematics. Are any of these repeats? Hmm. Oh my 
There's just so many things. I should probably learn how to do those eventually so I can do more damage. Um... My gross stuff is <laughs> fine for me. Do you have a whole snack drawer in your desk? I try to keep snacks away from my desk because I will munch on them during the entirety of stream and I don't want to do that to you all. So I can't have snacks on my desk or else I'll eat them. That's what happened with all those Pocky. Remember those 12 boxes of Pocky that I had? Oh, that's good, Lara. Oh, I forgot Pale updated the wave emote, too. Um, do, do I... I mean, yes, I need more, but that doesn't mean you should send me more. You rarely call me by my name, Tolas. Why is that? Manners, perhaps. Manners have not held you back on other occasions. I say what I believe to be true. Even if it gives offense to those who... Oh my gosh, them. Dash. But there is no lie in what you are. Your position is an honorable one. Put healthy Whether snacks on your desk, like apples or grapes. It's not even the, like, the quality of the snack. Like, I have a bag of dates that I've been munching on that are so good. But it's making eating noises for you all that my, is my issue. <laughs> I don't want you all to have to hear me munching. Me always talking with my, like, mouth full. Having to wait to finish chewing? You all would go crazy. All right, let me go vendor. Well, let me know if you find one. It's better than my checkbook. <laughs> Store chocolate chip cookies. What do you have under your keyboard? Lara just lifts up her keyboard and it's a fucking box of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Bitch can't top this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have so much stuff. Such a mood. I work from home making calls and I constantly have to hold off eating in case I come off hold in the answer. Yeah. That's a really nice coat. That is a really nice piece of gear. Look at that. Do you see that? Like I look like I'm out of Star Wars. I could get a brass weight from my key, or I could make a chocolate cho <laughs> cookie storage device. Uh, what level am I now? I am level seven. I don't think I have any armor upgrades as of right now. Oh, I do, actually. Yeah. Oh, I get to wear the fancy hunter outfit. <sighs> Neat. Cool. I am touched by your support. Dash, thank you for the pocky. <laughs> I am touched by your support. I'm so ready for snacks. Wait, why was there two? Is that just in that's just an error, right? I think it just I think the alert just went off twice, I think. Dash, thanks for the pocky. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm ready for snacks. It was not an error? Oh. Well, thank you, Dash. I appreciate it. I'm excited. I'm excited for snackies. Ooh, Vanguard armor. Oh, look at you. That looks so nice. Hi, Revolver. How's it going? Hello. Uh, no upgrade for Solus. Solus is still rocking the crop top. Uh, I can sell that. 
sell that. I'm no longer using. You can't wear that yet. Uh, I don't think anyone can wear the level 9, and that's probably all we have, yeah. Oh my gosh, Nash. <laughs> All right, um, down here is a level 12 rift. Up there is the mage hideout with some mysterious sigils, which I'm, my headcanon, or what I believe, it's not headcanon, what I think is tied to them is the astrarium. So I'm going to head that way and try to get the last Astrarium. And then I'm going to go to the Mage Hideout and see if that door opened. Because I am sussy of that door. So we're going to go search for any shards. That shards, right. Okay. Here we go. We got some new gear. We look straight out of Star Wars Rogue One. What the? What are you doing here? Oh, there's people here. All right, there's a place with the horses. We'll go there in a second. This is... People are still in this farm. There's just a whole bison. Heartfelt request. Lost. Prize winning Druffalo? Druffy. Ran when demons attacked. Last seen down in the gully. Reward if found and returned to farmstead. A note is posted on a public board with a simple map showing the general location of a Druffalo and where to return her. Okay. These people are just chilling. Another mosaic piece. The Tevinter Imperium. For good or ill, the Imperium has put its stamp on Thetis forever. The old Imperial Highway is still in use across most of Thetis. The ruins of Tevinter fortresses in centers of magical study still litter our landscape, long after the glory of the Imperium dimmed. But the influence of the ancient empire goes deeper than this. Without Tevinter, there would have been no Blights, no Andraste, no Chantry. Every aspect of our world would have been altered. The might and majesty of the Imperium may have faded, but it still makes its presence known. Even in the most distant corners of Thetis, every child has been brought up with the stories of Tevinter as it is now. A decadent nation ruled by the Archon and his court of magisters. Great, but no doubt corrupt mage lords. Their chantry, a mockery of our own. Their black divine, a man chosen from the ranks of Minrathos' circle of magi. The maker's most hallowed law. Magic exists to serve men and never to rule over him. Perverted. Mages in the Imperium say their most sacred duty is to serve man. And they serve best by wielding political power. And the worst that which blessed Andraste must weep to see. All of it is built on the foundation of slavery. While most nations forbid the buying and selling of slaves within their own borders, nearly everyone ships people to the Imperium for sale. Skirting the, the prohibitions against such atrocities and feeding the Imperium's endless hunger for bodies, the fight to fight the Kunari, to work the mines of the quarries, and to build the palace of the magisters. To sweep the crumbling streets and turn the middens and serve at the whim of the mage overseers. All right. Well, the Imperium's trash, but, you know, I feel like we knew that. You want a scorpion mount? They have scorpion mounts, and wow. They're pretty dope. They're kind of creepy, but I kind of like some of them. It's right there. Mm. 
Nine out of 22 shards in the hinterlands found. So many. Where are all the skulls? Nine out of 22? I'm not even halfway. <laughs> Hinterlands. <laughs> this must be the horse master. Speak to the master if you have business here. Do you just refer to yourself in the third person and as master? Speak to the master if you have business here. You're still working on your 200 plus seeker medals. It's going to take forever. Oh, I have not even started the uh, the uh, quest for seeker. I haven't finished the story or exploring. Yeah, I guess he's not referring to himself in the third person. He is not the master. Oh, I don't have it. Hello. You'll be wanting to speak with my husband. Oh, okay. Look at these pumpkins. Holy, holy mo You could sit on them like a, like a stool. Hello. So you're the Inquisition, eh? You sat on you nothing. To bring order back. High time some of you. Never thought it'd be a Haller Rider from the Wildlands, though. Kind of wish the character conversations were zoomed in like they were in all the other games. Like, I wish the conversations, like, zoomed into the characters more because all I end up with is Varric's thick dwarven body in the way the entire time. <laughs> I can't ever see who the character is because <laughs> Varric's in the way. I wish it, like, zoomed in like the other ones. Um, yeah, you need to help if us. You want what's best for Redcliffe, you'll provide us with horses. I do want what's best for Redcliffe, but you've got some work to do first. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. You know what? That's fair. Fine. What do you need? More than reasonable. Glad to hear it. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plow neck they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Wait, do I really get a horse? What? I didn't mind running around. It doesn't take that long to get around places. They gave me a horse? Hard in Hightown Chapter 1 by Varric Varric Tethrys They say coin never sleeps but anyone who's walked the patrol of Hightown Market at midnight might disagree. The pickpockets in confidence men head to the taverns at dusk the, dwar the dwarven businessmen and nobles go back to their tiny palaces to fret over the ways they got cheated and the market falls silent. Donin Branakovic knew every angle of the market with his eyes closed. Twenty years of patrols had etched it into him so that he walked that beat even in his dreams. The recruit, Jevlin, was another story. The ring of steel striking stone told Donan that the kid had stumbled into a column again. His new armor would be full, full of dents by sunrise. Torches would make this easier. The sound of Jevlin hauling himself off the pavement was like a tinker's cart crashing. Torches make you night blind. You'll adjust, Donan 
crossed the square to help the kid to his feet. A breeze scurried across the plaza, sending the banners and pennants shivering and carry carrying an old familiar scent. Donnan stopped in his tracks. Something's wrong. His voice was low, warning. He peered into the dark, up at the mezzanine just above them. Follow me. Be ready for trouble. The two guards climbed the dark stairs and there, in a puddle of shadow, found the body. Gold-trimmed satin glittered through blood. Get the captain, Don inside. We've got a dead magistrate. <laughs> We've got a dead magistrate. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. A banner from Kirkwall of the Free Marches. So is this guy... So is Dennett from... Kirkwall? I mean, he must. He has like, well, I mean, he doesn't have to, but he's got like a book from, from Varric and he's got the banner of Kirkwall. What if Varric talks to you? Good to see you Inquisition. Oh, no, I don't think it matters. You said you were once Al Eamon's stable master. Master of the mounts. Ferelden's don't appreciate horses like they do in Orlais. But they knew my name in Val Royo. My horses took sick less and carried a man longer than any of those fancy prancers they've got. You take care of my people. Unless the sure unless the wife is from life. Kirkwall. Because it doesn't sound like he's from Kirkwall. Yeah, tell me about your wife. You said your wife Elena is in charge of the farm. Yes. A lot of families work our land. They work for us and we take care of them. Elena knows the farms better than I do. Knows what they need. I imagine not being killed by anything would be a start, though. All right. Farewell. Watch Ooh. yourself, Inquisition. It's ugly out there. Thanks, guy. Hello. Hi, Elena. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after I can't believe you're all just sitting here taking care of a farm while, like, you deal with the wolves, and our farm things are exploding, safe. like, half down the block. How are these wolves acting differently from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it's, it's like darkspawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beasts. I won't endanger more. All right. Good day to you. I'll do what I can with the wolves. I also gotta find someone's Druffalo. I gotta find Druffy. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. Now you and zoom in, and it's at a really weird angle. Want me to put up my watchtowers? You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts. Good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there. I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. They've got quite the quite the plan going on over here. No wonder they're just all chill and farming. Fair they're well. just like they got a system. I feel like this. This Demic guy has seen war. Other than just breeding horses. Hi, ponies! This horse is mine? Oh! I got a horse! Hold shift to gallop. Cute! Is there a way to call my horse? They're all pooped in here. Hello. What kind There's of horse racing? What? I set up a course over there with stakes in the ground. It's too narrow to race directly, so I time it with a sand glass. You try to ride the course before I... Yeah, yeah, I saw the, the equal sign. Okay. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time. I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation for the Inquisition. Oh! 
Oh my god. Oh, 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 I broke it already. Oh, it's very broken. Oh no, pony. Oh. You good? Oh, horse steering. All right. Wait, where do I... Oh, I go this way. Okay, I see it. All right, we're going, pony. The race is on. This horse is huge for my tiny elf body. It's not making sounds anymore, but the flags still keep going up, so I assume I'm doing it right. Go, pony, go! We've got this! Oh. We don't got this. We're fine. We got... There we go. See? Easy. What are we gonna name them? Um, we could name them Cheese in honor of our horse from, uh... Breath of the Wild. How many races are there? Alright, here we go. Is that the right post? Oh, okay. The, the, uh... There's a fade rift happening right now. I'm on fire. Wait, this is a really bad time. Good, we're good. We're chilling. Look at that easy life. Another one. Hi, Elijah. How's it going? Nicely done. Fancy another ring? Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stake straight away. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. All right, here we go. La last one. We're going in reverse. The reverse course. I don't know how much I'm going to... I guess... We'll see. We'll see how much I use my horse. I don't mind being on foot. It makes exploration a lot easier, but I'm sure if I just need to, like, especially with fast travel, I don't know. We'll see how often I use my horse. I say that, but, you know, I haven't seen the other maps yet. Rift, leave me and my pony alone. Oh, God. Me and my buddy riding through the forest, passing all the foxes, trying not to get killed by demons. We gotta go this way.
All done. Whoops. Are you good, pony? Thanks. Is the quest done? Oh, okay. I guess quest is complete. Hi, Kitsune. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. It's just says quest complete still on it. Do I not turn it into you? That was some riding. Okay. It's complete now. I'm doing good. We watched some gaming showcase earlier today, and then now we're uh, playing Dragon Age. I didn't refill myself on potions, but that's okay. All right, let's go. This way. What's this one? Farmland security. That's funny. It's the watchtowers. All right. Oh yeah, I could probably take out this rift. Playing the same game? Nice. I hope you're having fun. All right, in we go. Oh Jesus! Oh, get out! Go faster! Out! Oh, I have a shield. That's good, at least. Welcome in. Excuse me. Don't do it. All right. Stop it. <laughs> My day is good. I had a pretty good day. It was uh, filled with indie game trailers and Dragon Age Inquisition. And I made food this morning. You know, not too much to complain about. Tirda's lover. <gasps> we can then finally learn about Tirda's lover. Done it. I don't care if it's the best land on the farm. The farmers remember the old ways and the old blood and will honor that. Just as I honor you twisting the old horseshoe nails into circles and sneaking them into the horse's saddles for luck. If the farmers want to leave the tree to honor Tirda's leaf elf, leaf eared lover, we'll let it be. And whatever we lose from the land will gain in loyalty. If I come back and find the tree is gone and you and Bron blustering some story about falling in the storm, I'll get the truth from S Sienna and you'll be sleeping in those stables you love so much. All my love, Elena. Oh, history and stuff. What, like, type of history you're looking at? You've been playing this game and went to a job hunting event? Oh, like a, uh, like a job fair? I remember job fairs for hospitality, man. Sometimes they were pretty in intimidating. I was like, oh my gosh. What's I gotta do with with Tirda's lover? I uh I don't know what the tree has to do with Tirda's lover. I don't know. I mean they were in elf, but I don't know what the tree's significance is. I wanna learn more about this this elf relationship. 
Chinese history and Russian history. And about Egypt, my plan's to be a history professor. Oh, cool! Well, I hope you have a good day of studying. If you have any fun facts... Emphasis on the fun, because I know sometimes history can be kind of... Uh, but, uh, if you got any fun facts... All right, is this an outlaw camp? I think so. I'm going much further south than I intended. I don't think I can go north from here. Well, maybe. Uh, maybe. If I believe hard enough. Yeah. Did you all make angry back there? Did you try to go around and ran through the bandit camp? I could see that happening. Oh, this just sent me back. Dang it. Oh, but there is a way to go up here. Yeah, that was the one thing I like really noticed because I played one day of this game and then went to the others was like, ah. When I, when I finally got to Inquisition after playing the first two, I was like, holy shit, I can jump. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can jump. It was crazy. Usually any game that I can jump in, though, I find a way of breaking, which is either good or bad. Ivan the Terrible sent a love note to Queen Elizabeth I of England, but Elizabeth denied and Ivan got mad mad that he sent some horrible notes to her it's a what if queen elizabeth and ivan the terrible got married uniting russia and england oh ivan was feeling elizabeth and elizabeth said no ivan was just those like slide in the twitter dms type thing where it's like damn girl you be looking fine as hell and you you know the the girl just responds um no, thank you. And then they turn into an absolute rage monster. <laughs> uh, I joke about that, but it's happened and it's terrible. But Ivan is just the history version of that. Uh, Burgrit. Burgrit, it'll be worth it. You worry too much. I've seen you hunt. You and that bow go together like the maker and Andraste's sweet bosom. Okay. And there's nothing in this world that'll keep that'll keep breathing after you take that your axe to it. And believe me, once you've gotten enough of the bear claws, and remember, they need to be big, really good sized ones. I don't want you coming back with some cub slashers and said and a sad dog's grin on your face. We'll make something that will make us both rich. Think of the girls in Redcliffe hanging on your arm, Burgret. It's a strong arm, my friend. It's strong enough to kill three big bears and bring those claws back. You take care of that. And that arm will have a nice lady to wrap around at night. Good luck. Don't come back without the claws. Jasker. Okay. Well, this was a dead end. She denied because Ivan acted like Elizabeth's father, which was horrible to his wife. And Ivan had a terrible childhood. It's what made him crazy. And I can imagine if she accepted. Oh, my gosh, Elizabeth. Th they would have made documentary rehashing movies about Elizabeth's life with Ivan. Does anybody else smell that? Seriously, just me? Varric's still farting.
Oh, found a wolf. The poor wolf did not stand a chance and they turned into a popsicle. Hi Jess, how's it going? Oh, you're fighting down here. Whoa, come back. Wait for me, I'm looting. Or don't. It's fine. Oh, there's just bandits out here. Okay. Adventures hat. Holy moly, it's dark in here. Can't see anything in there. Oh, jeez. Sometimes I just go flying. <laughs> Sometimes I just soar straight past the enemy, I swear. Further north, but there's supposed to be something over here. I don't know where the bear went. Oh, it's the astro thingy. All right, let's make some shapes, shall we? Again, they don't all fit in the... They are more fun facts? Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, to read them entirely. Just because I got... I gotta solve puzzles. Oh, I messed this up already. Boom. Finish. Par par oh per Parachialis? Parachialis. I'm gonna guess that's how that's pronounced. Referred to as the Voyager in common parlance. The constellation Parachialis is commonly depicted as a ship. No ordinary ship, but rather the primitive vessels sailed by ancient people such as Nero Minions, the translation from ancient Tevin is usually across the sea and lends credence to the idea that the Nero Minions came to Thetis from elsewhere, although most reputable scholars dispute this, especially considering those ancient people would likely have named these stars long before they undertook such voyage. Okay. 
Do I play Cyberpunk? I've never played Cyberpunk, actually. I have not. I've heard it's quite good now that, you know, they've kind of done some adjustments for their bugs. I've heard Cyberpunk is excellent. I'm not done up here. All right, another shard. We're over halfway through the shards in the hinterlands. Let's go. Dungeon entrance. Wait, which dungeon was that? I didn't. Did I see a dungeon entrance? Hi, Yuffie. Oh, here's a dungeon. Okay. So, no, I didn't find this before. Does Solace take it every time? I guess he does. You don't need to take it every time. There we go. Okay, cool. I don't know how many enemies are down here. I could regret this entirely. Very quiet in here. What is that sound from outside? Maybe I too will grab a, a lantern. Because I just drop it on the ground, right? So. This isn't spooky at all. Any signs anywhere? Nope. Okay. Who's living down here? I think this room is identical to the other one. What is that sound? Hello? The veil fire must be making the runes legible. Okay. Is there nothing else in this? area okay very strange dungeon lots of whispers are the whispers coming from the fire 
What game am I playing? This is Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, it is spoopy. You had no idea you could drop the torch? Yeah, you drop the torch as soon as you go into combat. So if you hit any of your combat actions, it drops it. Then you can just pick it back up. That's why I don't like Solus carrying it, because Solus won't drop it on his own. So I usually give it to Varric, but... Bandits, demons, mages, and Templars. The refugees are in dire need of help. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you can just pick it up off the ground. Hi, Lulu. Wow, there wasn't a whole lot in there. There's a bear trying to scale a mountain. Ow. I guess I'll go to this one. I thought maybe we would have found like another elven artifact in there or something, but I guess not. Oh, that bear's chasing down the ramp. <laughs> Okay, you two have fun. Did I not put... A letter found on the dwarven corpse speaks of a package lost somewhere near the river north of the farms. Oh, okay. So this probably is a area. Yep. Oh, speaking of package. Is this not it? That looks pretty much like a package. I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to untarget the ram. Oh, you have to uncover it. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. Okay. Gonna gonna ask to be a little slower on the response of telling, giving me hints. Shh, shh, I know we're all very excited about the game. I will ask just just a little slower on. Let me let me learn. All right, armor. Carta coat. Mm. I can't wear it. Sad. It's rogue only and dwarven only. You can though. You want to wear a carta coat? I'm sure that makes you feel great, Varric. Ah, uh, there is a quest up there. Now, how do I get there? There's a wolf just kind of chilling. We're just going to let the wolf chill and hang out. Okay, your eyes aren't glowing green the entire time. an empty camp. Now where am I? 
A letter at the abandoned campsite. Come to me, my love. The dreams have guided you this far, and now I write these words with your own hand for you to read when you wake. You are so close. Come to the tree on the hill where the stone lady stands bearing for Philan Philandaris. I, I've read the word before and it still gets me every time so that I, I know you and we can finally be together forever. Uh-oh. Something's writing from the dreams. It is not your lover, my dude. My ma'am, my dude, my ma'am, my, my person. However you are. Yeah, pretty sussy. That doesn't sound anything like... A dr if a dream's writing for you with your own butt, you know, your own hand. Oh, well, have fun with the bear. See you later. Not my problem. Now. I need some stamina regen and bad. Are you all fighting with the bear? Oh, that bear hits hard. A bear means business stop fighting with the bears you hear me everybody no more bear business um i'm going this way Bow, 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 bow. Mark location. I don't know if I've ever heard of it, Roman. All right, we got one watchtower. Next. Discover all the landmarks in the hint. Oh, I walked right by it. <laughs> we gotta go back. Oh, wait. I have a pony. Hello, pony. Away. I wonder how many, how much jump spamming I can do with this pony. Oh, I'm gonna get this pony stuck somewhere. I know it. Now! There we go. There we go. Uh huh. landmark what is this it's a sword Mephereth repent a statue of Mephereth grieving after the death of his wife the prophet Andraste whom he betrayed out of jealousy oh can I have your sword
Interesting. Uh, letter from... You found a letter at the abandoned campsite and it instructs a young man to bring the Landaris to a tree where a stone lady stands. Uh. Inventory is full. Surprise. I know, they're not using it. They should just give it to me. Is... The quest marker shows here, unless it's like underground. Oh, I need to bring Philandaris to the tree on the hill. I need, is that a plant? <laughs> Hold on. Is it a person? I thought it was a whole tree itself. Oh, it is a plant. Okay, I have to find a plant. I apparently have not collected any of this plant. All right. Um Farmland security down there. I will go here. Should probably actually vendor again. Too much stuff. I have all these schematics I need to do something with. I feel like I learned how to use the schematics the first time I played, which was really early on in Haven, and then I did not learn it this time, so. Good job, me. Um, I gotta sort through all my garbage. Uh, sell, sell. Sell that, sell that. I don't think anyone's using this. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. The crafting materials. Okay. Now we go back. I do want to go... Ah! The Astra Astrarium things did reveal something in the mage... Oh, man, my theory was right. Okay, we're going back to the mage cave. Kind of sad the game just straight up tells me, but that's okay. I don't know if I remember cutting through here. I didn't. Can we name the pony or not? Not in game, but we named it Cheese. Yeah, we named him Cheese in honor of the Breath of the Wild pony. I did not go into Witchwood. 
I voluntarily didn't go that way yet. I should probably get off my pony. This is good XP I could be getting. It can't properly be called a war any longer. It's a free for all. Mages against Templars against everyone. That's fair. It is just chaos. There's no organized war about it. Alright, the doors are... Oh, it was Onyx. It wasn't Obsidian that I collected. Oops. That's fine. What is in here? Yeah, the fire's in here just like... They have whispers. I got a dagger with 14% crit damage bonus and a 5% hit percent chance to apply poison. Ooh. This, this sounds pretty nice. Can I equip it? <laughs> it's level 9. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Uh, why do they do this to me? So much pain. How could this happen to me? Let's get rid of a lot of these. I think you use you would use this. Oh no, you 100% will. Oh, and you can now. Sweet, you got a cleaver. Can't use that yet, but you can use this. But you you just get barrier damage bonus, which is kind of lame. I did not mean to equip you with that. Uh, what do you have right now? Oh, you can use the Canari shield. Which kind of looks like a kite. Alright, we got some upgrades. Come on, cheese, it's time to rock. Uh, actually, where am I going right now? Go put up some more stations. Guess I could explore the witch wood. I didn't really explore this area. Oh, well, I opened that apparently. That is a that's that spider is fast as fuck. That is horrifying. Burn it. Ooh.
Bully of the Burnt Men. Where are we? This is no longer the Witchwood. Oh, is this is this Buffy or whatever you're Duffy? Sorry, Buffy is a vampire slayer. Hi, buddy. Lead the Druffalo back to the pasture. Okay, come on, Druffy. It's time to go. Uh, which way is a good way to go? This way. Let's go this way. I don't know how escort quests work in here. Do I have to go, like, super slow? Come on, buddy. Oh my god, this escort quest is gonna take some time. Come on, buddy. Keep moving. I believe in you. I need to go like here oh actually there Duffy kind of complains every like 10 steps Duffy is a slow baby he's a slow baby but he's moving come on Duffy you got this I believe in you I know you've been through a lot there was a rift here this would have been terrible to try to escort the ox through I don't know if I want to go... Yeah, I'll go down and through. Come on, buddy. I hope you're not afraid of water. Oh, no! He can die? Do you just, like, go back? Does he respawn? Or, like, once he dies, he's dead for good? Come on, buddy. The water's nice and refreshing. Oh, no. That's awful. Come on, buddy. Uh, 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 you're mastering this cliff. I'm seeing it. Come on, buddy. We're almost there. We just have to... Oh, wait. That's my camp. That's a safe camp. Come on. Where the Druffalo roam. I won't take you through the water again. Deal? Come in. I didn't mean to jump. Don't get distracted by the plants. I gotta take you home. I hope there aren't this many escort quests. Come on, Druffy! Move your booty! You're so close. You're such a strong... You're such a strong, Druffy. Yes, you are. You're the strongest Druffy I've ever seen. Come on, your family's right here. You got this. Look. Susan, Bill, and... Whitney are here to greet you. Oh my gosh, there's so many more. Oh my gosh, look at all the family. What? Isn't this great? Quest complete. Druffy, rise like the cosmic sun. Shine brightly and conquer the challenges ahead with paws of determination. 
You got this. Sun with face. Paw parents. Thank you. I good job, ma'ams. And I'll see to it that this never happens again. That's good. I want to close the gate. Uh, okay, so I need to find the land. Okay. Is it by that tree? I haven't seen this plant before that they want me to find. No, it's just more elf fruit. I mean, I'll take it. The more elf fruit, the merrier. All right, now we go to farmland security. Come on, cheese away! Do 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 ba da ba 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 da 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 boo boo do boo do boo do boo 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 good job cheese All right, another watchtower uh, done. Uh, trouble with wolves. Safeguard against looters. More more games writing sequence would be improved by chocobo music. I feel like I feel like there's got to be some sort of writing music. It just feels so empty without you know at least like a ba dum ba dum ba dum bum bum. Well, a little something. Let's see. It doesn't have to be goofy like chocobo music, but you know, eh, something. Um, let's go see if we can take on this rift that's down here. My bad. Sorry. Don't freak out. It's fine. It's just me smacking stuff on accident. I'm going the right way. I can read. I just have the wrong thing marked. I have a feeling I'm still not going to be able to do this because I haven't gained that much gear. That's a very large bear. That is a beefy bear. That bear, that that bear, that bear right there. Uh, that bear has been trained for war. Oh, and there, there it is. Oh boy. Oh, things just got spicy. Hold on. Take out the humans. Okay. We took out the human. Or at least one of them. Almost done with one bear. Oh my god, there's another bear and wolves? What's happening? Those aren't wolves, those are Mabari. 
What's that? Wait, I thought this was the other bear. Oh, God. Forget the rift. We're just fighting the wildlife. Oh, God. Uh, Varric, would you like a res? Okay, cool. Kill the humans. Ow. How tanky they are, my goodness. I'm on the ground. Who's feeding the bears? like steroids. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. We found the bear claws. By the end of Hard in High Town, almost every character is revealed as a spy or a traitor. Wait, you read my book? It was in the Inquisition Library. Everyone but Donnan turned out to be in disguise. I just happened to finish the claw quest because of this. Ah, uh, nope. Everyone I know is a secret agent. Are there many tricksters in dwarven literature? A handful, but they're the exception. Mostly they're just honoring the ancestors. Oh, yep, completed the quest. Human literature. Now there's where you'll find the tricky, clever, really deceitful types. Curious. Eh, not really. Dwarves write how they want things to be. Humans write to figure out how things are. Huh. Interesting. Have a safe trip home, Gauga. Oh my gosh, there's another bear. All right. Well, let's see how this rift goes, shall we? Aw, oh, crap. This one's just a normal bear. And now we got wolves. Okay. Where are all the wildlife coming from? Okay. Ow. Not exactly how many potions I wanted going into this fight. But we'll give it a shot. I'll save here. Did I like go? Okay. There's an outlaw camp too. Oh my gosh. We have to fight through tooth and nail. I need to remember to pop the poison before I go in. I can poison as many people as possible.
I like that we get potions for free. I'm kind of, I kind of miss enemies dropping potions so that I could gain potions as I explored, but. All right, here we go. This freaking rage demon. Oh my gosh, that wraith already. Please hold. Don't hit me. Oh, I died. Uh, all the I what? Uh, where is my body? Can I just click me? Oh. Didn't I die like right there? Oh, oh, there I am. I'll work, right? There we go. Good morning, me. Okay, that was one round. Oh, I need to drop aggro big time. Oh, everybody's just getting murdered. Please hold. has access to any potions they used them all ah dang it we were closer though still probably level a little longer oh solus died i'll probably just die too here we go dang all right little bit little if i can hit level nine and put on the gear that i have at level nine then i think i'll be okay I haven't really gotten too many gear upgrades. We'll go this way. Mercenary Fortress. Mercenaries are stirring unrest in the hinterlands. They have occupied an old fort in the woods. Find the Mercenary Fortress. Okay. Let's go do that. The hell? Who's yelling? Oh. Yeah, where'd you go? Gotcha. not the smartest to yell out where'd you go well in stealth tip from one rogue to the next Let's go this way. There's some hell fruit. The camp for our supposed bandits lies up ahead, I believe. I need to not be in the front because I'm getting absolutely smashed. More. 
more gear. Ooh, I don't have throwing blades, but it sounds like a nice skill to have. Well, this looks mighty nice. That one part of the song just reminds me of the Baldur's Gate loading screen. Or like the Baldur's Gate main menu music. The... Uh, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Very... Very Baldur's... Baldur's Gate. Or Baldur's Gate is very Dragon Age. They both, they both have very, very similar music tastes. Oh, the skull, yeah. BG three's got some good menu music. It's good stuff. One. Two. Three. Four. And... Mm. And... Somewhere over here? Ah, five. Cool. Baldur's Gate was originally a Bioware IP, so that makes sense. Took inspo and its predecessors. Oh, that's fair. Fair enough. Dragon Age Origins was Bioware following up Baldur's Gate 2 with their own IP. Mm -mm -mm. Makes sense. Baldur's Gate and Dragon Age, both, both good games. Clearly they know what works. They know what's up. Uh, there's a quest over here. Well, oh, deep trouble. The door to to Valimar is on. Oh, is locked. Oh, wait. I thought that was somewhere else. I thought they found a door to Valimar like somewhere. Yeah, over here. Hmm. Yeah, I found some cardo over there. They might have better helms they might wear. No, it's only got... It's got a six critic... It's canary only. Gosh dang it. <laughs> it's canary only. I gotta get Solus Firestorm so that ring is actually doing something. I'd be tempted to time out Thursday Jade Empire. Except that Gabe didn't age well. Oh. That's always a downside when games don't age well. Hi, Nails. Uh, it has chickens. I found chickens. Warcry ring again. Man, I'm not taking it. <laughs> so many. So many Warcry rings. You don't even have that skill. She would probably be a pretty good shield. Da, 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 
Now that song's just gonna be stuck in my head. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm so sorry ahead of time. Destroy. Yeah, it was a part of the part of the Dragon Age song, like, like the world music that sounds like um, the Baldur's Gate Three menu music. I need to get my groove back for Baldur's Gate 3 because I want to play more of it. I just played so much of it that I burned myself out so hard. <sighs> Here we go. This is an upgrade. Here you go. Um, I guess I'll grab this shard. All right, 15 out of 22, seven more shards to go. So we're getting there. This wraps back around to that rift. Okay. Why does it feel like there'd be something on the top of that rock? Excuse me, tree. I need to get back. What the? Thank you. There is nothing on top of that rock. Da 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 da. I gotta get up there, but I can't quite get there just yet. Okay, the quest is inside. Not super equipped with the. Uh, my potions right now, but that's okay. Grand Forest Villa. That the lush and beautiful Grand Forest Villa is so far from Redcliffe Castle seems odd, only until one learns the history behind its construction. More than an age before the Arlesian occupation of Ferelden, Arl Jason Guerdin ordered its construction to serve as comfortable living quarters for his close friend. Hmm. Famed singer and swordsman Sir Coram the Bard. Oh, I see. They were, they were roommates. Arlesa Mar Mar Marguerite, Jason's wife, Evid evidently understood and supported her husband's relationship with Coram. Hey, that's nice. Only stipulating that the bard not live at the castle to avoid the public scandal. Okay. Arl Jason's Ride oh, was a popular tavern song. Oh, for many years, jokingly honoring the Arl's attempt to return from, from the villa before the sun rose. Sir Coram lived happily until his death 
in bed at the age of 90, several years after the death of Arl Jason himself. The age Arlesa Marguerite ordered Corm's body burned with full honors in a hunting cloak that belonged to Arl. After Sir Corm's death, the villa was used by the Arl's family for guests and as a summer home for younger family members, it was abandoned during the chaos of the Fifth Blight. That was actually a nice story. Thank God. <laughs> All the stories have been, I mean, this is so awful. And this was actually just like, they had a, they had a fine, everybody had a fine relationship and everybody died happy and old. He's just smacking around. Give her the shield. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what they uh, have written up there. Banner from Ferelden. Okay. Not sign letter. I don't care if you've got an archdemon itself lighting your asses on fire. The mercenaries provide enough protection for you to continue the operation. If necessary, more will be dispatched to your location. Keep the docks working and keep the, the product moving. Delays will not be tolerated. Who's doing what? What are you moving? Lyrium? My inventory is so full. I should have emptied my image. I don't know what to get rid of. Is it the is it all the recipes? I feel like it's all the, the like armor schematics. All the schematics for stuff. The weapon and armor schematics. Uh. I gotta do better inventory management. I don't like leaving loot here because it means I haven't explored something in my brain. No, I end up backtracking a lot. Okay, we keep going up. Up and up and up. Okay. And now we go down. Oh, thank God. We go down fast. Oh, holy 
Enemies. Okay. Where are you going? Died. Uh, so do you have a potion? Do I? Did I not build a tactic for you? I'm alive. I'm dead. <laughs> Gosh dang it. This is the mercenary leader. I didn't even realize that. He's immune to mind blast. Stay all the way over there. We got this. Unless it like phases or something. Oh, I can res myself if I actually, uh, Oh, well, it's a good thing I'm waiting until now. Ah. Oh, Varric instantly died. Get your armor out of here. It seems the All right. Got him. Ooh, 100% uh, maximum health and vanguard armor. Oh, 3% heal bonus, magical defense, melee defense, and range defense. Increase maximum stamina by 10. Ooh, Cassandra is going to be wearing something shiny. Uh, I need to go back. Armor. I can't wear I'm telling you, I just I need to I need to level up. I need a couple more levels and I can be wearing pretty things. So close. I can wear the belt though. Or Cassandra can wear the belt. All right. Well, everybody's looking real, real rough. <laughs> we have one potion left. Oh, is this the key? <gasps> the Valimar key. Uh, a letter from the Carta. We hired your mercenary organization to facilitate this business venture. Not add complications. In order for the Carta to extract the product without it, Attracting undue attention, the area must be free from observation. If the fighting between the apostate mages and the renegade templars is insufficient, your efforts were to dissuade refugees from exploring the area and interfering in our operation. We are meeting at our primary base of operations in Valmar to determine the next course of action. At your earliest convenience, send represent representatives to the location marked to explain the situation and obtain new instructions. All right, we got the key. The Inquisition's growing presence in the area represents a threat to the operation. 
Focus efforts on discouraging any further exploration of the area, particularly any efforts to give comfort to the refugees at the crossroads. We cannot have people putting down roots here. Mm. Okay. Those rocks have an eyeball on them. Covered this upper area, I think. Oh god, there's this guy down here. Winter Tower Shield. Yeah. Oh, the inventory. Just throw something away. Probably another Warhorn Ring, to be honest. I don't know whether there was anything on the middle shelves of this place. Oh. No, it just goes all the way up. Okay. Go back down. Oh, not like that. Out. Okay. Mm well. Um, how do I get to... I think I want to go this way. There's still the shard here that I want to grab. Oh my gosh, everybody's low health. Everybody's just beat up. Falling apart. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, it's right here. It's fine. I just won't loot it. Oh, I almost missed. She sweeps. We're good. There was a ladder I could have taken. A warden helmet and a specialist crest. I am so out of stuff. Uh, Winter's grasp is something that Solus has, don't they? Yeah. Put that on. All right. Okay. Thief stole something important from a fortress to the west. A threatening note found the thief's body suggests that whoever stole it from them very much wants it back. Ugh, I don't have the... I don't have the health to go fight more stuff so I'm, I gotta go back I don't have the potions oh I can equip them all with regen potions okay Eric, would you like some in 
in TV and fire. All right. We take the horse and we're going out. I have to get on the horse. Right. Come here, cheese. Tell everybody I'm on my way to kill some thieves and demons. The blue skies ahead, they're looking kind of green. I'm sure that means everything's fine. I'm on my way. Yes, I'm on my way. Get off the horse. That's a bear. All right. That shard's found. One more shard this way. Ooh. I went back to camp, but I didn't vendor. Oh, why would I do this to myself? Oh, I caused myself so much pain. I wish they had vendors at the camps. Not that it's a big deal, because you can just fast travel, but... Right. It would be nice. Alright, let's sell some stuff. 39. Dang. I've almost got half my inventory down. I'm doing pretty good. Increase the maximum capacity of all tonics by the specified amount. It's kind of a nice. That sounds like a not a not bad belt to be wearing on someone. You don't sell like a backpack, right? I didn't think you did didn't seem like it. it seems like it would be in like valuables or something what are you wearing right now extra grenades let's give you the tonic belt because why not i don't know well actually i don't know what is a tonic then i thought it would be like the potions but Increases maximum capacity of all tonics by the specified amount. What is... Okay, I'll toothpaste it. What is a tonic then if it's not the health pot? Because now I don't know. Tonics is, is another potion? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, fine. And that does us no good. Hi, Cheese. No, oh, no, don't step on the potion place. Yeah, there's rock armor tonic. Eh, I'm not gonna... It's not worth putting that on... Anyone. Go in there. Don't worry, bear. We're friends. Mainly because you can't catch me in my pony. Somehow, I've got to get up there, I think. Ugh. Oh my gosh, there's bears everywhere. Who released the bears? Whoa. Where the hell did I go? This was very much not where I wanted to go, but... Old Simeon's Cave. Okay, well, we got a rift to go through to deal with. 
Maybe? The bears let themselves out, forbidden lake. They roam freely in the cosmic wilderness, seeking adventure and cheese, bear, milky way. Rifts in the woods. This rift is not responding. Which is strange. If you find this, the bleeding didn't stop. My family lives at Redcliffe Farms. Maker bless you if you could take my last words to them. I didn't run, didn't abandon them. I thought I could get enough to help. Fool that I was. All I got was my guts torn out. E. But what about this rift? It's just like chilling. Hmm. Strange. I was going to use this side to find my way up, but doesn't seem like that's an option. So we're going to go this way. Oh. Can I use this as a way up? Oh, no. What is that, though? That onyx or obsidian? It's obsidian! And a bear! Where are you going? Stop running from me! Oh god, now we have two bears! Ow, how did I get hit by the bear? What are you getting attacked by? Hold up. Another bear? What's going on? I swear all the bears have, have like, radio headsets. They all communicate. They're cheating. They got earpieces. Ow. Oh, I dived in at the wrong time. Don't tell me you're attacking another bear. Okay, I don't know what you killed, but thank God. But on the upside, we found obsidian, or at least one node of it. I need five obsidian to make a lockbox or a puzzle box. Mm 
bear hive mind. That must be what it is. Exactly. Okay, I gotta go from inside the mercenary area then. Is that more obsidian I see? No, it's onyx poop. All right, 18 out of 22. Four more shards to go. Let's go find this person who robbed people and finish up this corner. And then we'll go to Valmar. Valamar. Figure out what the card is up to. What are they moving? And why is it Lyrium? That's true. If we were playing DD2, Onyx would be great. It means more money. Ow. It seems the Ferelden army has chosen to stay clear for now. Oh, more onyx. Dang it. Complete ritual. Oh god, it's a rage demon. Okay. At least it's not a revenant. I know what ritual I just completed. But it's dead, so thank god. Did I level up? Oh, and I leveled... Okay, that was the sound of the rage demon dying. I was like, uh, it True, at least it's not level... You have miso soup? Uh, I'm jealous, I love miso soup. Can you send me some? <laughs> I leveled up. I'm level nine. Eight. Just kidding. Nine's what I want to be, but I'll take eight. It's one step closer to nine. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I could use some miso soup right now. That sounds so good. Not gonna lie, all the bonuses on the other weapon just seem like it's so strong comparatively to the gray items. Like, why? The flat damage is better, but like, plus two willpower, 4% crit damage. 2% crit chance? Like, why would you swap those out? Maybe I would take the, swap out the 126. That's true, Surprise, You're absolutely right. Da, da, da. Bum, ba, da, ba. I'll put that one on instead of the... Yeah. Okay. And then armor... Do I have any armor for me to wear that I could wear? No, I think I'm wearing the best stuff I got. Hmm. 
Varric, I think you're wearing the best stuff you can wear. Oh, can you wear this now? <gasps> you can wear this now. Hey, look at you. Look at look at that. Look at pretty fly. I like the red boots. Okay, okay, okay. Looking pretty sick. Pretty nice. And Solus, you still have no gear you can wear. <laughs> Poor Solus. We haven't gotten a gear upgrade for Solus in quite some time. Da, da, da. This gives you nine willpower. Jeez, Louise. That's crazy. But still, I don't think it keeps up. Um, and then me, I didn't get anything new, and Varric doesn't get a new weapon. Okay. I haven't figured out what to do with those yet. I assume they go into gear, but I haven't found a way to do that yet. Because I think I missed it in Haven, because I swear it was in Haven. Okay. Let's try this rift one more time. It might work with just Cassandra's improved gear, to be honest. Let us go, oh mighty cheese. The cheese steed. The cheese steed. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. If I have to live with it, so do you. The cheese steed. Oh, that rift just sparked up real fast. Ow. Everybody's got more potions. We've got better armor on Cass. Hopefully this should be fine. The cheese steed. The cheese steed. If you want to ride cheese, you got to call him the cheese steed Tilda. Exactly. Oh yeah, this is already going tremendously better. in the mall. Don't die though. Oh, including me. You're right, Joker. You're right. I should not do that. Oh my gosh, do I still have one more round of rift? No, no, no. I just gotta close it. Hey, let's go. This 
just a teensy bit more gear and that rift is closed. Cool. Yeah, not too bad. Right, we all leveled up. What the? <laughs> He died. I forgot. I put new gear on everybody. I got so excited, but I didn't level anybody up. That's fine. Um, let's see. Let's take the evasion trait. I think me living is going to help quite a bit. Varric, what do I want to give you? Hook and tackle. You hurl a light grappling hook at a target and then yank hard as you leap to pull yourself to it. I mean, that sounds fun for me. I don't know how fun it is for Varric, though. Your critical hits tear through enemy armor, leaving it sundered for a short time. Okay, we've got a lot of sunder going around. Full draw. It takes a moment to line up the perfect shot, but it pays off with a devastating hit that bites even deeper against enemies who aren't injured yet. Uh oh. Eh. It's kind of whatever. Shrapnel from the explosive shots fills the air and sets off a deadly reaction to do more damage the more enemies are nearby. Right. Um, let's take the AoE damage. That's fine. I have a hard time taking abilities where like they get advantage if enemies are at full health because i usually oh i guess i couldn't set tactics like that for this in this game but like the other games i always had my party members focus the targets i was focused on so i was probably already hitting them already so like those kinds of traits never really work oh uh, but i don't think they let me set tactics like that they kind of do. They're, like, not as firm. But they're kind of there. Lunge and slash. This could be good. What is... What is... Battle Master. Yeah, what does this do? Your Warhorn Blast... Oh, right. This is, a like, an AoE fear. With a hooked chain and a lot of muscle, you can drag your target into arm's reach. Oh, it's a roadhog hook. It's a get over here. Neat. Successfully hitting a target with challenge gets your blood pumping temporarily, increasing your stamina regeneration. You can challenge as many enemies as you want. No cooldown. Uh, you draw strength from your war cry, improving your armor for the coming fight. War cry echoes across the battlefield, catching more enemies and taunting them for longer. Yeah, let's take the... The taunt. The taunt to taunt. Taunt to taunt, taunt, taunt. Okay. Uh, where is... That's Inferno and... Oh no, this is Immolate. And flash fire. Hi, Mystic. Thank you for my pets. Wall of fire, fire mine. Unleash a massive explosion, leaving enemies in the area burning in agony. Eldritch detonator ability. Use on incapacit fo incapacitated foe for a combo. Neat. Ignite an enemy with searing pain and send them fleeing in panic. I don't know if I want that. Uh, things are good. Things, we're just playing Dragon Age. What could be wrong, right? I have just like a library of songs in my head on the regular. 
So it just spits out. What is this? Rejuvenating barrier. When you or your allies have an active barrier, the beneficial energy invigorates them and helps them recover mana or stamina more quickly. <gasps> yes. Okay. Down the dispel tree we go. Okay. If you insist. Why? This rift wouldn't activate, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I needed one rift done to do the other. I'll go find out. I can also just fast travel to the... this area. No bears. You stay away. Now, bad bears. Ah, there we go. Okay, it is working now. Oh, it's got a freaking despair demon, though. It's really hard to reach this one. Oh, look at me. Ow. Oh, I got one tap slapped. Jeez Louise. So let's save my life. You need the mana. I'm alive. I was dead, but now I'm alive. Okay. I can't see the rift. Okay, that should help. Maybe I should have given people more uh, potions. Okay, hopefully I can do this. Oh god, being here is gonna be a problem. Is there two despair demons? Uh oh. Okay, hold on. Don't breathe fire on me. Okay, we're getting there. I can't get to anything when it's on the cliff! Okay, we got that. Can I disrupt the rift again? Live, Cass! Um, Solus, I'm gonna need you to, one, drink a potion. And then I'm going to need you to, uh, I think Cass is like, yeah, there you are. I didn't leave any potions for Cass, I'm sorry. Drink your rejuve potions, everybody. How do I pause the game again? Because I would 100% get them to just drink their rejuvenation potion. Oh, like a bomb. The ra Surprise! Rage demons are immune to fire bombs. Um, I'm gonna go pick up Solus. How does that sound? You tank that. I'll go get the rest of the party. Alright, looks good.
How's it going up here? May I be of assistance? Cool. So far, so good. We did it. Was it clean? Absolutely not. But they got done, and the XP was sweet. Ten percent focus gain bonus. Nice. All right. Rift done. I wish I would stop finding Onyx and find more Obsidian, but you know... Is that a bear? Where'd you come from? How did you come from inside the cave? was the tactics button it's not the gears are the tactics button in the other games <laughs> there we go it's just in the character sheet oh no never mind behaviors there we go i can't get them to drink their other potions i guess i have to do that manually all right, I think we cleared out this portion of the map, which means I can go this is oh, I think that's where my other skull is, okay. Yeah, nobody used their regen potions, sad. Oh, I remember what's up here. Oh, I don't know if I want to go this way. Oh, 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 oh. No, I think I'm okay. I'm going to wait. <laughs> I remember what's up here. No, 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 no. We'll wait. Um, Maybe we'll go, go to Valimar. What's wrong? Nothing. I just value my life. No big deal. The Antivan Bleeder. Anything cool to buy? No. No, you don't. You have garbage. All right. Um... I can go to Valimar, or I can finish Farmland Security. Mams is a dwarf confirmed. Wait, what? Why is Mams a dwarf? Nothing to report, sir. And then I need to find this plant. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Didn't mean to come across that, but that's fine.
Under protection of the Inquisition. Yeah. Totally. This place, so protected. Because she fits the beer and sword perfectly? Okay. Fair enough. Hi, Jin. Hope you're having an okay work day. All right. Now I can go talk to Horseman. While riding atop my horse. Uh, let's go that way. You know it's a witch wood when the trees get curly. I don't think I've been here. Also, this house is entirely covered in grass. Maybe I have been here. Oh, I must have, because I put a marker down over there. Waiting for the Comcast guy who was supposed to be here three hours ago. Oh my. What? Oh, why are this with the spiders? No! You back. Oh my gosh, I'm too tall. I'm too tall to fit. Back, you fiends. I will not be your weird spider lunch. I gotta go to the bathroom after I get to this farm. I did it. I got a horse. This is cheese. Hi, the camp. I could have fast travel to over here. Go me. Oops, my bad. Alright, I did your stuff. But I'll talk to you after I go to the bathroom. Thank you, Cassandra, for reporting that for the fourth time today. Um, I will be right back, chat. I gotta go to the bathroom. And then we'll get back into it. One moment. Purple be the scallywag who showers me with treats of plenty. Z be stingy like a pirate's purse. R. Pirate flag. Neat.
You look good on my Sienna's track. Still think racing's a fool's game when there's fighting to do, but you rode well. Good to see you, Inquisition. Good to see you, Inquisition. Okay, I'm back. What am I being shamed for? Purple does give Mams more treats. Because he feeds her the human food. And I don't give her the human food. Welcome back, thank you. Good to see you, Inquisition. Oh, it is something... Over here? Behind the wall. What you got? I'm stealing your drink. Thank you. All right. You I did your tasks. I have to turn them into the other people, huh? Oh, crap. Oh, my. Right. I haven't dealt with the wolves. Oh, okay. 
biscuits. Where are the wolves? Up here? Oh, they're up there. Okay. All right. We go find the wolves. Can I at least turn in bronze quest? It's hot in here, chat. I should have turned on the AC before I sat down. One second. It's hot. The button didn't do what it was supposed to. I summoned my wife instead. It was hot. It was 76 in here. 76. It was toasty. So freaking hot. Oh, now you gave me a blanket. Why? <laughs> wow, I'm being bullied with blankets. Farewell. Okay. We're going north. Welcome. Z will be with you shortly. <gasps> Riley! It's a, it's a Rarity raid. It's a Riley Rars. Hi, Riley. How was your stream? Welcome in, raiders. If I haven't met you before, my name is Z. I am a variety streamer who's going through the Dragon Age series. Welcome on in. This is my horse, Cheese. We're currently in the Western Highlands, just trying to find our way. Super exploration mode. What were you doing today, Riley? Is it 14 Guild Wars? Neither. All of them. Hi, Curling. Forgot to copy pasta, but here's a collection of... You know what? That's solid. You did good. I think you, I think you hit the assignment. Stream was good. I've been kind of obsessed with the Genshin story. All oh, right. That's what you were doing last time was Genshin. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were doing Sumeru. Yes. I hope you've been having fun with it. We're still playing Dragon Age, and I'm still in the same zone that I think you saw me in a couple days ago. Or last week? Dead Ram Grove. What a sad name for a grove. Are we going to Fontaine? All right. Yeah, I don't know any of the Fontaine story. I don't even know how Sumeru ended. I gotta go. I'm gonna go over here. How's Dragon Age been going? It's been going good. It's good. I am. Um, I'm currently getting lost as one does. We're still in the first zone. It's been three days and I've been in the first zone because exploration is strong. What the heck? You all want to die? Why are you just standing out here with loot? All right. Oh. Your abilities are remarkable, Seeker. It is fascinating to see how you and the Templars negate magic. These are friendlies. Never mind. Only at a distance. Why are they all just standing out here with boxes? And they never caught up with you. Hi, Dana. How's it going? I am a very careful apostate. Thank you. Random guard people. Vala off my computer. Come on, kitty cat. She says, Mama, you turned the AC on? Eating a jar of peanut butter? Let's go. That used to be one of my favorite pastimes until I, like, clogged my esophagus. <gasps> Good night, Riley. Chat, make sure to go check out Riley. Go follow them and watch them do the Fontaine storyline. Get some rest, Riley. I really appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. I found the wolf. Unintentionally, but I did it. Yeah, Vala sits on the computer because it's really warm, but like, she's 
She also suffocates the shit out of my computer. Welcome home, Galga. That cave could be the lair of our strange wolves. I love peanut butter. I used to, like when I was on, uh, when I was on, I guess, quote unquote, a diet or like trying to eat better. When I, uh, when I was like craving something to eat, I would just have like a, a spoon of peanut butter. But I was eating peanut butter so frequently that like it started to hurt to swallow. Like, anytime I swallowed any food, it was, like, painful. Um, and it turns out I, like, coated my entire esophagus with peanut butter. So that was cool. I was eating a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> oh, God, the wolves are going nuts. Do still love peanut butter, though. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what, like, the literal cause of the issue was, but yeah, every time I ate, like, every time I swallowed food, it would be, like, painful, uh, so I stopped eating peanut butter, uh, and it just kind of went away, so. I would have to eat a lot of peanut butter for that to happen again. It's not, like, something that happens when I eat peanut butter now, so. I'm good, but yeah, that's my peanut butter story of me liking peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, the more you know, don't eat, don't eat, don't eat too much peanut butter. Don't be like me. Hi, Kwan. You love peanut butter? It's so good. All right, well, I took care of the wolves, I guess. There was a demon in here fucking with everything. Way to get up there. How do you? You don't think you've choked on peanut butter, though? That's good. You're probably better off, to be honest. <laughs> you put it in your oats for the week and have half a jar that I decided was going to be my dinner tonight because I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> I, uh... If I don't have, like, cream cheese or anything, one of my, like, favorite things is for, like, bagels is to toast a bagel, put butter on it, and then, like, crunchy peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter, more butter, and a toasted bagel. Mmm, so good. So delicious. But probably so bad for me. So good, though. You'll try that. Yeah. And then you all you all know. I told you you put marshmallow fluff in, in the peanut butter and you you toast that between white bread sandwich. Delicious. You like cream cheese too? I do like cream cheese as well. It's just when I'm out of cream cheese. I do love me some cream cheese. Everything bagel, cream cheese, lox, and capers. I have... I don't usually buy capers. I don't mind them. But I don't usually get them myself. What is happening over here? Are these people fighting with the Mabari? What is going on? Ow. You cook with capers enough that you stock a small jar? Oh, fair. That's fair. 
Oh. Man named Hessel fled the fighting to a cave in the north when his secret project. I was just up there. Apparently I missed them. I'm following the nug. Leave me. Oh, running chicken nugget. Maybe there was a cave further in here? Unless I missed something in that actual cave that I looted the stuff from. Safeguard against search the northern hills. Okay. Is there another area? Nope, just this one. Maybe I was supposed to go further. Because there was the cave that's back here. And then there was nothing in here. So, not this cave. Oh, 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 I did not go this way. This is how you get up top. Okay. I don't think that's an upgrade for you. Uh, it is not, but you can use the Templar shield now. Poor Onyx. I need Obsidian. Man, can we get a shout out for Quan, by the way, when we get a chance, please and thank you. Yes, maybe I can use my googly eyes. Maybe my googly eyes will tell me where the answer is. Oh, okay. I guess that was it. Loot got. You stopped before there was three? <laughs> Thank you. All right, that quest is done. Uh... Hinterland, who's who? A hunter a hunter appears to have ma been mauled by a bear and died in a cave. According to his letter, he was trying to get enough of something to help. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. I remember. Their family was at Redcliffe Farms. Fee Arms. Fee Harms. Oh, I can deliver the letter. All right, quest complete. Were you what? Thank you again. First name Druffalo, you again. last name owner. Your son, M Mr. Druffalo, owner, died in a cave. The end. Da 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 da. Under the protection of the Inquisition. That's me, a true hero. I didn't want to be a hero. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. But I stopped the wolves. The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. Solus approves of the most random things. But you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thanks. Boom. Power plus one. All right, buddy. I helped your. I helped everybody. Where'd he go? 
There he is. Yelena says you got rid of those demon cursed wolves. It should be safer for our farmers now. Uh, yeah, can you help the refugees now? Right now, any food I give those luckless bastards might as well go to the rebel mages or bandits. Talk to my man, Bron. He'll tell you what those folks need to protect themselves. Did I not finish Bron's quest? I've no problem with charity, long as it's not... Shitty. Did I not finish your quest? It's a letter from a lover. Um, that's Valimar. Hmm. Farmland security. Complete the... Oh, oh, I have to complete something at the war table. Oh, how do we get back to Haven? Do I have to fast travel from Crossroads? Is there a war table in the Crossroads? Fast travel. Oops, sorry. Oh, do I have to like actually? Oh, wait, world map. Oh, there we go. I see. You see a lot of people use their iPhones for tracking because of the LiDAR sensor. Is that basically the best way to do that? Or can you use the newer web? Um, yeah, the, I know NVIDIA released like a kind of like improved webcam tracking that you can use, but still the iPhone is still like the best that you're gonna get i always encourage people to just you just need an iphone that's like iphone 10 or newer so like just grabbing like a refurbished one or anything it doesn't have to have cell service it just needs to be able to connect to your wi-fi like like if you have the spare money just buying like a spare phone from like i don't know a you know, a pop-up, just like a shop or refurbished or anything um, is good if you're trying to get the iPhone tracking. But I know, like, uh, NVIDIA had, like, an improved tracking that they were doing. But people do use their webcams for, for VTubing. Um, you don't have to have an iPhone. iPhone's just the best like v bridger uh that gives me all of my like fancy mouth forms and stuff allows me to bleh, make all my face stuff um that's only works with iphone so at least as far as i know oh look at all the different animals Whoa, there's tons of mounts. Jesus. I heard Seeker Pentagast might try to acquire suitable mounts for Master Dennis on his new plan. Okay, crafting. To craft new armor or weapons, you need a schematic and enough materials. The schematic determines the appearance and potential power of the crafted item. Cool. So... There are five different types of crafting slots. Utility, offense, defense, damage, and armor. The types of slots determine the stats that will be generated from the material placed in it. For example, placing iron in the defensive slot gives a bonus to melee defense, while putting it in the utility slot gives a bonus to strength. Got it. So these are like weapon parts, right? Because then you put them in 
Upgrading an item adds the upgrade stats to the item stats in addition to changing its appearance. For example, attaching a hilt to a plus three cunning with a plus three cunning bonus to a sword adds the bonus to the sword. You can freely move and add existing upgrades or exchange them between different items. New upgrades can be crafted at the crafting station. Okay. Got it. 100% poison damage, but negative 50% attack. Hmm. has quite the sigil. I mean, sure. Why not? I can always remove it, right? I don't think that's worth it. I think that's terrible sounding. What'd you find out, Galavar? What was it? Should serve you well. There's no difference between the gallop and a sprint for horses. There's not? It's just speed, speed lines added on top? Wait, are we talking about It looks faster, but the horse is going same speed. I didn't even know there was a gallop or a sprint. There was a difference. I just hit sprint when they start walking. I thought the sprint was just to get them to go back to that faster speed. The gallop is normal walking? Is it? Oh, I can't summon the horse here. I'll show you when we go out there. Uh Another time then. Tacticians renew. Respec abilities. Oh right. Okay. Right. Uh, there. This also sounds terrible. If it makes you feel any better, I have no idea what you're all are talking about. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, let's see. So, like, what does this give? Oh, right. It depends on what I... For each of the materials has a predetermined stat value for each of the possible slot type which you can view by examining the material. The final value of the stat coming from a slot is determined by multiplying this value by the number of materials placed in the slot. Okay. 
Armor penetration, stagger on a hit, attack. Okay. Flanking damage bonus. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I would have... I don't even, like, the term gallop and sprint on the horse, I I don't know. It doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> I have no idea. So whatever the info was, cool. Sure. Craft an item. I guess. Something for Bianca then? It just all gives dexterity. Sure. How do I know which slot is which? Oh, damage and offense. Okay, so this gives... Nope, still no idea. That doesn't say... None of these say damage. <laughs> I don't... We're dropping it. We're leaving the horse thing alone. I don't care about the horse. It wasn't spoiled for me because I don't know what anyone's talking about. Leave the horse thing alone. Um... What does the damage mean? What does damage mean? Because it gives me different... It gives me primary slot, utility slot, off, offensive slot, and defensive slot. Is it just primary slot? Is damage? Because this one says offense, but... This just gives flanking damage, which I don't really care. It's the primary slot? Okay. Thank you very much. So this would be like the same thing, right? Okay. Uh... Cool. This is a little confusing, but we're getting there. Elon kill barrier damage bonus. Attack. I'm confused because... Okay. Maybe I'm not confused? Oh, no, I'm not confused. Okay, right. Because it takes two cloth. So the right side is the total of the... Got it. Okay. I see now. My brain is going into overdrive. Okay. Sure. I'm I'm figuring it out. Sure. 
sure. Craft it. Cool. Okay. Now. I crafted it. So now let's modify armor. Got it. Okay. So I can take the grip and put it in there. And this already has something in it, so I'm good there. I'm understanding things. Solus is using this right now, and it already has MB. Ah, uh, I see. So if. I see now. That makes now it's caught up with step. Okay, I'm I'm getting it. I'm I'm working it. We're doing it. We're doing it, Nero. I'm doing the thingy, Yanka. Give you some sights. Give you a grip. Don't have any of the other ones, but that's okay. Good. Okay, so now that. Like, green item. What are you wearing on your head? Um, that you are wearing is now less than that. Oh, but you can't use it yet. Shit. Well, we're getting there. We're on the right track. <laughs> I, I got the right idea. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a session and a half trying to craft stuff. And then there's crafting armor. Okay. I wish I could see my current armor. Uh, okay. My current armor is... What am I wearing right now? I'm wearing something that's 99. So not, not going to be an upgrade there. Can I make something for Solus? No, it's just the same version of what he's already wearing. Okay, so yes, I see where the dying system comes into place. Sort of. Okay. I've learned the schematic stuff. Okay, so don't know. I guess schematics don't take room in my inventory, which is fine. Glamour is always a true end game. Hell yeah. Uh oh. What did they want me to do? Uh, who am I talking to? What is this quest? Speak with the smith. Oh. Uh, which one of you is the smith? You all look like smiths. Here we go. I'm Harris, and everyone knows who you are. How's the new gear? Uh, odd. It's not exactly what I'm used to. I'm used to running around in the trees, naked. Nothing stealthier than my skin in the wind. Done. Hi, Moshi. Hello. 
Uh, I've got quests around here. Which apparently doesn't even tell me what quest that is. Apothecary mentioned... Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm going over here. I'll clean out some quests in this area. You chose a poor time to tune into stream? No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I was just giving the blacksmith my notes. I should look around. Cheese. Whoa. What is all the way up there? I don't even know how they get up there. Do I know how they get over there? Let's find out. This all looks safe. Lots of elf fruit. That's good. Oh, I passed this quest by a long shot. I don't even know what quest this is. It won't tell me. Oh. Oh, this is how you get... Okay, this is how you would get the original logging stand. Got it. I see. Are you? Welcome, maidens. Z will be with you shortly. <gasps> moody! It's a moody raid! Hello! Hi, Moody! Hi, Freak Job! How are you? How was your stream today? It's a moody raid! Hi, Cass! How was, how was your stream? What were you doing? Welcome on in. If I haven't met you before, Raiders, my name is Z. I am a variety streamer who's going through Dragon Age for the first time, and we're currently in Inquisition on our third day. I'm currently still in the first zone, but went back to base to kind of collect myself. It was lovely. Discovered big fishing today. Oh my gosh, are you on are you on big fishing too? <laughs> All of my 14 friendos are big fishing they're either ultimate raiding or big fishing everyone's catching big fish do it get all the big fish if you need to do any post stream stuff moody don't let me don't let me keep you but i appreciate you so much chat make sure to go check out moody if you like it here you'll love it there i promise that's just my catchphrase for you now if you like it here you'll love it there that's it's only it's only for you. Cause it's true. Yeah, I'm having a good day. It's a good day. Do you have any idea what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meeting. Though that distance did save my life. I will talk to you later. Walk in the maker's grace. Goodbye. Oh, loot. You're worried about the risks. I understand that. Bum ba dum bum. Special shipments. Oh, I got enhanced schematics or something. 
So if I go into my schematics, let's see. Because, like, Bianca has the enhanced version and the masterwork of your grip. So, like... Oh, okay. So if I gr if I get them, they just do they automatically upgrade? So there's like Bianca's aiming. Oh no, because there's arms too. So I don't need this one, right? Oh, but I can't destroy schematics. <laughs> They're just gonna clutter up my stuff. What happens if I talk to Varric here? I have a personal question. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Cool. Um, where are you from? Are you from Ferelden? Orlain? Free marchers, born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no, Kirkwall's not that bad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Varric. Kirkwall's pretty bad. All right, that's all for now. Varric just being like, Kirkwall's not that bad. Nah, nah, Kirkwall's pretty bad. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on here? If I have materials for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you can. Make it go with me. Oh, Liliana's in here. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? What? I don't speak for Andraste, are you kidding me? But myself, and I have no answers for you. You probably don't even worship the Maker. Lucky. He asks a lot. I do not. He teaches that the Maker abandon us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives. Our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Yeah, people do die. People are killed all the time. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. Now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Mm, well, just shows everybody's on the same playing field. Why are you telling me this? I'm not really the best person to talk to. Doesn't the Chantry have people for this? <laughs> so I should let a priest comfort me? No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Hmm. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your oh kind God. Oh no! Just Everybody, relax. Hey, up. stop it. That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean, exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. When did Cullen become such a cool-headed, you know, cool guy, huh? He was so angry before. Which is why we require a proper authority. He was okay in two. Yeah. You. Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the conclave. 
the rebel inquisition and its so-called herald of andraste i think not i'm not the herald i don't believe i'm andraste's herald any more than you be chancellor that laudable humility won't stop the inquisition from using the misconception when it suits them the inquisition claims only that we must close the breach or perish you say that now commander we shall see if the sentiment remains true Um, I hope the trip is worth well, it. We find solutions and not a cathedral full of Hi, Vistarian. Yeah, it's a good game so far. Mark, if you will. I'm certain the maker is less amused. The maker can suck it. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, Giselle's here. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Uh, you know, people are annoying. As well as it should. How can people focus on trivialities when faced with the breach? It is easy for us to imagine that mundane matters fall aside in tumultuous times. The Church of Light does not speak of feeding troops or arranging meetings or any such mundane concerns. But every organizational detail you contend with, Andraste herself must play a part. These trivialities are steps on your path to victory, even if history never remembers them. I follow elven you gods. That I follow my people's gods, not the maker. Fair enough. But Andraste lived, and her deeds, however shrouded by myth, have their basis in fact. If you do not believe the chant of light, at least consider it a map of the dangers you must face. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Farewell. Until next time. Hmm. Oops. Hello, everybody. Operations. You now have access to missions. The mission operations take time and bring the Inquisition resources and rewards. Only one mission per advisor can be active at a time. Some missions have preferred type, which results in less time required when undertaken by the associated advisor. Missions may also provide different rewards depending on which advisor completes them. Okay. So I need to... Uh, something. Inquisition perks. Oh. A methodology developed by or lay battle master used by chevaliers to analyze their own performance in combat. Gain a 5% increase in XP earned from killing foes. Okay. So is this a bonus for me? The 5% increase in XP earned from killing foes? Is that for me as the player or like the mission? I'm toothpasting this. Opens up. It's for me. Okay. So I can use these Inquisition points here. Perks. Sure, yeah, yeah. Me and my party members. I just didn't know if it was like for whoever I sent out on missions gets XP or stuff, or this is bonuses for me. Opens up new dialogue options related to criminal activities and grants 50% XP for each codex entry unlocked. I do read all of the codex entries that I find. But I feel like kill bonuses are much more... Opens up new dialogue options related to the Fade or Arcane studies. Okay, so either way, grants 10% chance to receive extra herbs. Grants a significant increase to discovery range of searching action. Mm. 
Okay, grants 50%. Okay, so that's just four codex entries in general. Thanks to the few well-placed acquaintance and certain and carefully crafted reputation, merchants will pay the Inquisition 10% more for items sold to them. Okay. Merchants will offer the, ten per the Inquisition a 10% discount on their goods and... Yeah, that's what it, that's what it, oh, this one, oh, opens up new dialogue options related to nobles and politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Okay. I thought the top part was just lore, but that's, no, there's actually more in there. Okay. Inquisition procures can, procures can leverage the organization's reputation to purchase shipment of rare and viable raw materials for crafting. Detailed study opens up new dialogue options related to history and the chantry grants the additional 50% right, codex entries. And Stephen Taylors are famed for their ability to hide pockets seamlessly in garments. A few words in the Inquisition's... Okay, incre Oh, this is how you get inventory capacity increase. Ew. Got it. Requirement in Teven tailoring. Better techniques in glassworking make more durable flasks, allowing more potions to be carried safely at one time. This, okay. All right. I see. Got it. Makes sense. Okay. I think I want 5% increase from killing foes. Oh, okay. That is... Oh, is it not? It's not an extra. Okay. That understood then. Where did that go? Oh, it's right here. Adds one more potion slot for... Got it. Okay, so that's the last potion slot. Not... Doesn't actually give you another healing. Got it. Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So you unlock the previous ones to be able to unlock the ones below. Neat. Merchants eager to win favor from the Inquisition will give access to special offers and rare inventory. I don't think I really care about this one too much. Yeah. Four points needed in category. Ah. Okay. This is Def Chance Find Tools. Allows all rogues on the party to open masterwork locks. Okay. I was going to put something in here. Anyways. Detailed study of magic in the places Crete and creatures that interact with it. You know what? I think we're going to go with this one. I want the bonus to the codex entry XP. Because I have been reading them all. Okay. Build watchtowers. I need this done. So I can send Cullen or Josephine. Definitely feels like a colon mission. All right, Colin. Commander Colin, with the watchtowers built, we we've had, we've had, we've we have we have had. Okay, we've we've had is very weird to read, but we have had is less weird for me to read. <laughs> we've had. We've, we, we, we've had is, I don't know why that's so weird for me to <laughs> try to read. Yeah, we've, we've had a meeting. Why is it so weird for me to read in this? <laughs> we have had a meeting. We've had a meeting. It's, I don't know. It's when you say a word, you know, when you like type out a word too many times and you're like, man, this word's starting to look weird. 
Uh, we've had advanced warnings of demon and bandit attacks. The area is safer for both refugees and the farmers who had fled the nearby fields. Much appreciated, sir. It's good to know that the Inquisition is willing to put in the time to help people. Corporal Vale. Okay, so now they're on that mission, right? So I have to wait for them to finish it. I don't have to wait for them to finish it. Oh, okay. Do I walk out and walk back in then? Or did it just auto finish? It didn't really give me the vibe that it finished. You're not pleased. I am not convinced we are prepared for the full scrutiny. The bog unicorn? Rescue soldiers missing in Ferelden. Most of them will finish. I didn't even see what the rewards were. Inquisition soldiers have gone missing in the marshy reaches of southern Ferelden. Because, because the region is largely uncharted, finding them will be difficult. There is, yeah, there's a, there's a mod. Fluff Wand has saved me the time. So we, <laughs> it's one of the few mods we have is to make the table not wait real time. Hi, Beanie. Because of the region is lar largely uncharted, finding them will be difficult, but the Inquisition advises are determined to find out what happened and if possible, bring their people back alive. I think we send Liliana. New area unlocked. Oh, the missing soldiers have been found in the bog called. Okay. Falomir. They were being held hostage by Avar, who de demand to meet the Herald of Andraste if the Inquisition wants to see their people alive again. Oh. Okay, so I unlocked a new area. Oops. The heck is the bog unicorn? We've received an offer of assistance. I am unnerved, but not opposed. It is not the first strange promise we have received and likely will not be the last. The elegantly written note follows. The Inquisition has need and we would provide. We have in our possession a mount of noble spirit fallen in battle against rage. Returned to life by the boundless urge to run and serve a worthy cause and noble master. Prove what your followers already believe. That your reach is beyond this realm. That even the forces of the Fade are your ally. That death is no barrier to victory. The collective. Uh, sure. Go for it. A creature has arrived. It is just as unnerving as expected. Did did we receive an uh, undead unicorn? Locate weapon of Tirda Brightax. Oh, we're gonna find Tirda's weapon? Inquisitor, as a longtime scholar of the ancient Avar, I find the information you uncovered about Tirda Brightax fascinating. Many believe the Avar unsophisticated barbarians with no culture worth studying, but do not Orlesians say the same of us. The rich oral tradition of the Avar has been largely lost, leaving only those rune-marked fragments. Nevertheless, these confirm what we have heard in stories, that Tirda pulled her tribe away from the would-be warlord and chose a hard life in the mountains for uncertain reasons. It is fortunate that she did, for she, for had the Avar remained, the ancient Alamari might have pushed north and attracted the attention of nero Minian tribes that would one day form the Deventer Imperium. Had that happened, it is unlikely that the Alamari would have survived 
to become Ferelden as we know it. Based on mar marker runes left at each of these locations, I may be able to find the site where Tirda's legendary axe is located. A crystal-headed axe said to burn with flame would be fascinating find indeed if the Inquisition will finance my expedition. Sister Dorcas Gwerdin. I forgot what we learned about Gwerdin. Uh, it's nothing crazy. After you finish the hinterlands, just prog the MSQ a bit. The current quest, it opens up things. Sure, yeah, yeah. I, I was probably going to follow the MSQ until it led me to other zones. Mams! I had access to, like, most zones in uh, Origins, and I kind of just follow the story at that point. Sure. Inquisitor, I have no idea what to say. Scholars have debated whether Tirda's legendary axe was an axe set with crystal, an axe with a magically reinforced crystalline head, or perhaps even just a very polished axe. But apparently the word translated from the ancient language commonly taken to be axe in fact merely means haft weapon. It is possible that the translation of the saga had been edited to omit evidence that Tirda Bright Axe may have been using what seems from all appearances to be a staff, as would more commonly be used by a mage. Uh -huh. I apologize for my confusion in the matter. I will endeavor to be more diligent in my translation in the future. Oh, we got a, we got Tirda's staff. That's neat. Interesting. Up until now, the Inquisition forces have had the benefit of the Chantry's deep coffers. Now the Inquisition is forced to seek out its own sources of revenue if it is going to grow further. Trade in and out of Haven is limited at this point, but there are various opportunities to earn coin, provided the Inquisition is willing to focus their efforts on the matter. Uh, this sounds like a Josephine quest. Our effort bore fruit. A portion of the profits will be passed to you. Use it wisely, Harold. This is 95 gold. Yay. Oh, okay, you can just continuously gather gold. Okay. I'm going to leave the rest alone. I kind of covered what I wanted to cover down there. Hello, mammers. Good vibers. Okay. And then Solus might have gotten a new weapon. Here to staff. You have to be level 11. Okay, we wait. I will keep the peace. You and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royale. Sounds good, Colin. You're kind of being kind of cool right now. You were kind of a dick when I was a mage in the circle. I almost didn't let you live. My creator, judge me whole. Find me well within your grace. I went too far. We're not far enough, I guess. Okay, I think I'm done with stuff. Oh, I can go turn in the thing to the apothecary, and then I'm out of here. Oh, there's a frostback mountain horse. There's an asarash. There's a mountain... Dracolisk. There's a bog unicorn. Does it just have a huge sword coming out of its face? Wait, an Avar war nug? We're using this one. No ifs, ands, or buts. All right, we're leaving. Oh, wait, no, I need to go turn this in. What? What's happening? Hi, Solus. 
Anything new? Uh. I think I broke the game. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. You're back. And in one piece. You said you thought Master Tajan was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here. He couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. All right. <gasps> Lyrium potions. What? Lyrium. Increase healing amount. Let's do that. Researched. Give you some lyrium potions. There you go. Alright, I gotta replenish all my L fruit now. Alright, that's it. We're out of here. We're going back to the hinterlands. Farmland security is done. I hit the back button. Oh! Don't worry, I got this. Oh, I thought it was like an add-all. Never mind. Why is that the back button? <laughs> Gonna go crazy. Uh, oh, man. We do it. We go again. Confirm. Why is confirm in like the middle? Oh, here. Arl Tyrannon Gwer. Oh, that's where I've heard Gwer Gwerin. This one, the Arl. Got it. All right, let me summon this majestic steed. Oh, it's got fists! What in the world are you? You're like a moose. With, like, gorilla. Uh, parts. Badum, 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 bum, bum. You like his horns? Me too, Jason. Me too. returned that is one big mount jeez louise if those refugees are going to defend themselves they'll need real defense i've got a few ideas i built the watchtowers no watchtowers in the areas you recommended nicely done that'll give both your refugees and our farmers some warning next time trouble pays a visit i'll speak to the master and have weapons sent to your people at the crossroads yes power up What is hands? My horse. So can Nugs get this big? Look at it, it's so cute. Yeah, it's got, it's got like, Gorilla hands. 
it's supposed to be a nug, which nugs are usually like the little like naked mole rat bunny things that like run around. So I don't know why this one's so large. It's cute though. Those watchtowers will keep my farmers and your refugees a lot safer. I've sent supplies. Hi, Beric. You've held up your end of our bargain inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with it. Mwah. Okay. <laughs> Why is he so close to the screen? <laughs> Just give him a little smooch. Um. All right. Make her be with you. All right. Horses for the Inquisition. Got. The quest is done. I still need to figure out where to find this plant I go look this thing feels like it could like run over anything else It's too bad I can't search while riding on the... Oh. I don't... How do you... Why are they all suddenly, like, leaving boxes in the river? They're also, like, floating boxes? It's a cousin, cousin species. It's somewhat considered a mythological creature. Oh, okay, got it. Well, it's cute. I like its big moose mouth. It's got like the face of a moose, the ears of a bunny, and the hands of a gorilla. Is it also named Cheese? No, we need a different name. We need a different name for our, our beautiful new mount. Cheese was the horse. What do we name the nug? Gouda? That's a go that's a that's a gouda. Aha! Uh -huh. Did it. You think chicken? We could, <laughs> we could name it chicken. There's a bunch of different plants around here, but not the ones I need. You're hungry now? I'm a little hungry too. I haven't ate since I made food this morning. You can go get food? Go get food. I wonder if... The, I mean, maybe this plant was on the body where I found the letter or something. I might make some ravioli tonight. I have leftover pizza, though, I really should eat. Instead of wasting the money I spent on pizza. <sighs> I guess I'll have pizza. Um, I'm going to toothpaste this for all my Dragon Age Inquisition smarties. Is the Philanderous a plant? And am I supposed to find it like I do any other plant? These are both yes or no questions. Am I supposed to? It is. But it's in other regions. Okay, I will take that. 
That's a good answer. We'll leave that. Yep, yep, yep. I've only been in one region, so <laughs> I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. That's all the information I need. I can't do this right now. Understood. Perfect. And it was a good dose of information. I'll take it. Yep, onwards to other things. Um, okay, I think I've done most of that can. If I go up there, I'm going to die. So, <laughs> except it seems like that's my uh, only choice. So we're going to try going that way. Unless I'm not supposed to go into Red Cliff yet, which is totally possible. Let's see how bad this is. It's probably pretty bad. See, there's a nug. It's attacking the nug. Oh, these alone are level 12. All right. Okay, I didn't die. I am burning to death, though. Yeesh. All right, if we move fast enough, we might live. Oh, shit. Speaking of me dying. Hey, Solas, can you res me? That would be really dope. Oh, don't land on fire. Run, everybody! Okay, we're fine. Wait, I'm alive now, aren't I? Okay, cool. Takes a while to loot. Did you all just walk through the fire? Oh, my God. Run! Oh, my God, it's taking out stuff. What is that? Oh my god, I ate. It's eating stuff. What are they doing here? Are we in combat technically? Okay, no, technically not. But he just keeps rezzing and dying. Just keep moving. Alright, I'll just get to where I need to go. You all can do your thing. You'll catch up eventually, right? Good. Maybe this was what the horse is for. No, can't summon the horse here. I got this. Getting a red cliff whether they like it or not. Maybe. Oh, you know where I need to go? I need to go to Valimar. Oh, there's red lyrium down here. Hey, sup, party? Is that just Solus dead on the ground? <laughs> okay. Not too bad. We made it this far. Would you all like to drink? Well, unfortunately, Varus doesn't have regen potions. Oh, and you only have lyrium potions? God damn it. Yeah, they're looking a little scuffed, but we're doing it. I'll let you drink the other potion just to make yourself a little healthier. There's just red lyrium here. Holy shit. I think this is a boss battle. I think this is how we die. Okay, turn around. <laughs> turn around. Absolutely not. I'll try it once. Fuck it, let's go.
blood cliffs. Jesus. Hey, look, obsidian! Ah! Sorry, Varric! I'm doing this with, like, no health pots. This is a choice. Oh, Varric is dead. Ah. I'm almost dead. I am dead. Okay, so level 12 elite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wanted to know what level it was. That's not the worst. It could have been worse. So we'll come back. Oh, this brought me back here? Oh, I thought it was that. Oh. I saved further than that, didn't I? I did a quick save before I walked in. I guess it didn't work. Lame. What's this? Preliminary digs have been more than successful. It's extremely surprising to find such high qu quantity of this product this close to the surface. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was growing. On one hand, this gives us an advantage. Without having to work with the old families back in Orzammar, or even take this through official guild channels, our families stand to make a living. On the other hand, the proximity to the surface and to the populated areas of Redcliffe raise an interesting challenge. The war between the mages and the Templars should keep people out of the area for now. But as soon as the humans are done trying to kill each other, an operation we start will be uncovered. If we're going to take advantage of the opportunity, we need to keep people out of the area. I'd recommend manufacturing some bandits. This part of Ferelden is lousy with them, so they shouldn't attract attention, and nobody will have trouble believing that bandits would stake out some territory. By the time anyone uncovers the operation, it'll be either tapped out, in which case we'll be gone, or we'll have the operation running smoothly, in which case we'll be wealthy enough to deny everything and throw some money at the throne by a way of apology. Dwarves are doing s sneaky dwarf stuff. Okay. Um, I'm kind of sad that my save didn't save partway through there, but that's okay. Level 12 Elite Dragon. Noted. We are going to go down to Valimar, though. And go see what the dwarves are up to. Bum be the bum be the dun dun dun! A little wildlife. Where are we going? Oh, I'm going into a whole different area. Oh, it does just count as a whole different area and it's got floors. Okay. Must be an old dwarven outpost. What was it for? Trade, maybe? Your guess is as good as mine. I feel like we may have started something that I should have started next stream. Because <laughs> this looks like it's going to be quite long. That's all right. You're all stuck with me now. The hell is that? Why is it so loud? 
The fuck was that? I wanted to explore and you all keep fighting people. Something in here is so loud. It sounded like a tuba. It's something. Oh, oh, this map is neat. Why, it's all scribbly. Like someone just jotted it down on paper. Ooh. This place doesn't sound possessed at all. No problems here, clearly. the prompt that said take weird rings those wall things okay Card a note on security. We should be secure enough from outsiders. I'm more concerned about attracting darkspawn from the lower levels. We don't have the manpower to push them further in. Keep the product on the upper levels and barricade the bridge. Oh, there it goes. Okay. weird arrangement of boxes. Deface card and notice. 
Much of Valimar remains close to us. Anyone interested in changing that should meet here tomorrow. One hour past noon. T. A series of notes have been scrawled below this notice. Stop wasting time on the damn door. I don't care what's behind it. The mechanism's broken. More importantly, who cares? We have product to move. And you want to see if some ancient dwarf locked up a good tea set? We're shorthanded as it is. If I hear you've taken another group to the lower levels in search of gears, I'll make you sorry. First of all, I think the place used to be a trade post. There could be something valuable behind the door. And just how will you make me sorry? I'll use my imagination. And knives! An angry note. First, Liska, now Brenner, caught him trying to steal some of the product. Just a little bit. Just to keep, he says. N nug shit? <laughs> I guess it's like bull bullshit. N nug shit. Trying to make a little extra on the side? Thinking I wouldn't notice? I will not be undermined. Your cousin said we could trust Brenner, so you handle it. If I'm not happy, you won't be either. It's like Andraste's teats. Won't be the last. We may be too close to the surface for these to count as deep roads, but have I mentioned I hate the deep roads? <laughs> I can only imagine why, Varric. Lara, thank you for the lurk. I want to go down the other way. I didn't go. It's like giant mushrooms down here. This is the door they couldn't open. The door can only be opened by some kind of mechanism. Okay, so this is the door they wanted open. Let's see if we can figure out its secrets. Holy Carta. Ooh. Ow. Oh my god, the warrior's going nuts. Thank you, Solas. Sandra, you threw them away from me. Hi, government. I'm doing good. I made some some real good progress on the Inquisition today. So I'm like super hyped. I did some good good Inquisition proggy today. Stabby stab! We're doing all the stabs. Sassy. Just wait. The Only the biggest of stabs. Report on activity in the hinterlands. How's your day going, government? Sorry, I didn't ask you back. Rude. 
The soldiers call themselves the Inquisition. They've been helping the refugees near Red Cliff, poking around f a fair bit too. Though they haven't come near here. They have someone with a trick for closing those rifts. Claims she's some sort of prophet. Dallas nug shit, if you ask me. Must be one fast-talking elf to get a bunch of humans to fall for that. Not sure what she's after, but if those mercenaries do their job, we won't have a problem. Still, keep an eye out. They've been watching our movements. Personal note scrawled in the ledger. It's good, though red. Oh, they are. They're pulling the red lyrium out. Ugh, idiots. With the Templars severing ties with the Chantry. We should find buyers easily, though. It has to be the right buyer, though. Don't want anyone who's, who'll get ideas. We need to control distribution. If travel across Lake Callanhad is secured, we're made. Most of the veins have been near the surface. There's enough of it, but if we find a deeper vein, a source, that could take that could be huge. Once we have a firm grip of the current operation, we can look into expansion. Red mage crack. No, no, no. No yay for red mage crack. No. <laughs> Jin, red mage crack is bad. We don't want red mage crack. My horns? They're very smooth. Yeah. They're very smooth. Very shiny and smooth. I keep them in nice. Dark Town's deal. Ask the nobles of Orzammar how their kingdom gets silks and grains and wines from the surface, and they'll tell you trade with the surface occurs. It occurs. As if on its own. With no traders or merchants or human farmers involved, a little miracle of dwarven ingenuity. The reality is a lot of, a lot messier than their fantasy. Orzammar relies upon the surface not just for its prosperity, but for its survival. Ages of blights have taken thousands of, of tigs away from the dwarves. These were the places where most of the food was raised. The dwarven kingdom that endured alone, independent beneath the stone from time immemorial perished in the first blight faded into myth now the remaining dwarves underground cling to existence through lifeline to the surface a chain forged from the castless every dwarf who goes up to the surface is stripped of caste effectively exiled and removed from dwarven society forever but orzammar relies on continued relations with these exiles to live this has created a shadowy area of the dwarven trade and politics where the rich, powerful, and elite maintain secret ties to the people who, by official decree, no longer exist. And everyone knows what kind of things lurk in the shadows. The Carta lives in the underbelly of the surface trade like a tapeworm. Many surface dwarves maintain ties, not officially recognized, of course, but respectable, to their former houses in the noble or merchant castes and those contacts are their means of trading with Orzammar. Those who have no ties, because they're cast off by their families or never had good connections, make the trip back underground to trade with Orzammar personally, where they find themselves treated like criminals. A castless in Orzammar, even a wealthy one from the surface, will be driven away from, the most, from most merchants, treated like he's carrying a plague at best. So these surface merchants turn to the Carta for help, the Carta acts as a contact in Orzammar for surface business and sells their goods on the black market. For a cut, of course. The Carta always gets a cut. The outraged citizens of Orzammar sometimes petition the assembly to deal with the rampant crime surrounding the black market, and showy displays are made of kicking in the doors of Carta hideouts and raising dust town. But the Carta always comes back, because the assembly always allows it. To much of Orzammar is dependent on the black market trade. The nobles know it. They all do business with Carta. Everyone has a stake in, in its success. The Carta has thousands of faces above and below the surface. Honest merchants and noble caste lords and un, 
upstanding members of the merchant guild. All a cover for the thousands more smugglers, thieves, and murderers in the shadows. The lifeline of Orzammar. Praise the ancestors. Written by Varric. Okay, thanks, Varric. You couldn't have just, you know, told me that. I had to read it all myself. All right. Where's the other gear? Oh. Orders for lake operations. Check on operations at the lake. Make sure they're doing their jobs down there. Don't let them give you shit about the wildlife. I don't care. Tell Liska. Take Liska with you. Give her something to do. She's been on edge complaining about humming or some nonsense. If she can't handle the job, deal with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. These dwarves are dumb. Oh, hello. Oh, he just fell off. Which means I can fall off. What's your favorite class? Um, I played a mage in Origins and 2. And then this is my first time playing Rogue. Uh, so I haven't really had a chance to play the other uh, two classes in Inquisition. I liked playing the mage, the the mage in in the first two. It made two feel very personal. Need another gear. Anything that involves red mage crack. Okay, hey, don't call me out like that. The red mage crack is bad, you hear me? We only tango with the blue stuff. Okay. Oh, we have another dwarven gear. Okay. Dark spawn schematic. Interesting. Okay, so now I have enough gears to open the other door. enough to open this door. No one wanted to get the other one? Don't worry, I got it. Found something fancy. Whoa! And we got power. And we found dark spawn. Oh, don't hit me with that. Ow! Oh, don't hit me. Relax. Put the hammer down. Come on, Varric. I'm coming to help. Did you kill it? Oh, you killed it already. All right, cool. Ooh, I'm close to dead. Jesus.
Enjoy the poison. Oh, I don't want to get hit. Nice. Oh, we are almost level nine. And almost taste it. I might adjust the... Is there a brightness adjustment? I actually don't know if there is. I can't remember whether they asked me to adjust the brightness at the beginning. Um. Oh, here we go. How bright or dim the game should be. Yeah, let's turn it up just a little bit. It The really dark corners of the game are like pitch black for me. <laughs> They're like so dark. Oh, but that makes it look terrible. Oh, their brightness is a little different. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because I guess because it's a game. I don't know. It's not really a brightness. It's very... Okay, let's try 5.5. How about that? Okay. It's good enough. Oh, the dual blade dagger. Cool. That sounds really cool. Wrong button. Also wrong button. Oh, because my inventory won't open? Because there is a... I see. Got it. Now will my inventory open? There we go. Okay. Wow. Level 17 though? Oh god, okay. That's a pretty nice dagger though. Dang. 17 though. Jeez. I did not mean to drink a potion. Oh, I'm a dumb. Those are valuable. I can't just... Gosh, dang it. Oh, there's... Oh, there's another pot. It's hard when all the loot just looks like vases. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Got it. Oh, so this exits out the... Okay. Neat. Alright, so that circled back. I was hearing voices in the game. It was just purple. My earbuds muffle him enough that I could barely hear him, so I thought it was voices through the walls. I was like, what is that? I'm level nine. Oh, 
Do I have stuff for me at level 9? I don't actually even know. I do. I have the snake blade. Uh, cool. I'm going to put that on. If that's all the find I have. This also has a chance to apply poison, which is a really good thing for me because my poison damage is like super buffed right now. Um, you're all still level eight. I can put on this helm. Ooh, plus six cunning. Oh, okay. The poison damage was on the chest piece, but I'm going to... Oh, this is mage only. <gasps> oh, human mage only. Come on. Lame. Poor Solus will never get gear. Okay. And then I don't think there was... I don't think I have a necklace for me still. Oh, actually. I can do that. We went in there. Can energize a thing on the ground? Why? Don't hit me. Can Solus energize this stick? Oh! <gasps> the class, like, specific interactions with the world other than just rogues being able to lockpick is so good. What the heck? That's so cool. Why did fixing this... What did fixing this do, though? I don't actually know what that did. Oh, maybe it was in our way. Originally. Okay, so we haven't found a way to the even lower floor yet. But maybe I'm not supposed to yet. Because I think I completed my quest in here. Napta picks a bridge with all four with four pillars and a waterfall under a tree. Find the spot marked on the map. Picks a bridge with four pillars and a waterfall under a tree. Confront Tanner and Red Cliff Village. And then the puzzle box. Oh, I don't have enough obsidian still. I only have two. Investigate shards at the war table. Oh, I need to investigate. Okay. Travel to Falomer and... Travel to Val Royale. Okay. Alright. So I think I'm kind of done with the hinterlands for the most part right now. Because I don't think there's a way for me to get to the third level of this area. Even though the Carta have somehow escaped me. And I don't know where they went. Huh. 
but they're running around with red lyrium somewhere, being a bunch of dum dums. I guess I could have cut through the uh, vault to get back, but I'm kind of just like checking everything. Interesting. Uh, what an what a cool place. I like it. I like it. Okay. So yeah, I think I think I just have to go to Val Royale, and then that's kind of. It for the hinterlands right now. Otherwise, I've just got like tiny, tiny side quests to do. Yeah, this I can't even do right now. So, okay. And then this dragon who kicked my butt, which I'm going to wait to level. All right, chat. On that note, we're going to return to the crossroads. And I think that's where I'm going to save for the day. You save me. Yep. And the dragon. All right. GG's, everybody. Good job. We're going to... I'm going to wrap up over on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, for hanging out. Tomorrow we're playing Final Fantasy IX for the first time. First day. Yep. Yep. We'll go to Val Royo on Friday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Val Royo on Friday. Tomorrow's Final Fantasy IX. Um, it'll be my first day in Final Fantasy IX. Bye, Jason. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night, YouTube. I'm going to wrap up over on Twitch. We're going to be playing some marbles and wrapping up formally on, uh, on stream. But otherwise... Have a good rest of your night, and on Friday, we'll be back with Dragon Age in Val Royale. Bye-bye. <sighs>